So a little bit text update. Because I wanted a little bit higher resolution, I connected it to my main 4K Dell ultra sharp display from, I don't know, four, maybe even five years ago. And this is using MST, this multi-stream technology with the left and right side of the panel. And as far as initial plugging in goes, this Galaxy did not want it to have any video output there, did not recognize the display. I guess it doesn't like MST displays. Then I switched the display here to non-MST mode. Here in the settings, somewhere in the menu, uh, display settings, display port 1.2. This is disabled now. In this mode, it will only run with 30 Hz, which is not ideal, but good enough for a first test. And at least we have a little bit higher resolution now. As I said in the first impressions, this VNC, it is not the most awesome. You see this even here with secure shell connections. It is unfortunately currently a little bit laggy. Um, See, there is a good delay, slightly uncomfortable to type, at least here with this. Let me check what was the local. Uh, local is better. Okay, the secure shell is also running over wireless, which is also not awesome. As you can see, it's a little bit better local, but if I would have designed this, I would maybe not have used VNC. Maybe something like QXL or some modern higher performance 2D, 3D blitting protocol thing. And I'm compiling here this ARCH. 64, otherwise known as ARM64. So let's just skip here. The way I skip here over this is just touch the locks and T2 things. It built successfully, doesn't matter so much, but most build. I even updated some small things. For example, in the meantime, DietLibC with the last release got AMD64 support. And I started to async this here over my famous async installation method. So I have here some T2 folder. Let's async here more. As you can see, this is rsyncing, just to test my binaries. And the good news is, by the way, did I use compression? Maybe over Wi-Fi I should use compression again. And as you can see here, the stuff is building along. And of course it is usable. Only my fault that I have the stupid Apple mouse that is generating this touch events here. I mean, surprisingly love that this touch events somehow do something over VNC. Anyway, don't get an Apple mouse for this. I just don't have a second Bluetooth mouse, I think. Cheapskate as I am. So this is building T2, of course, cross-compiling here. And again, even this test build improved some things. Diet libc, just some small stuff that I always find when I test and do something. So let's Cancel this here for a second. One bad news is the change root is forbidden, even though we are roots. This is some regular container technology thing, some namespacing or whatever they're using. So they are not allowing us change root, unfortunately. It's not ideal for testing, but whatever. And my binaries work, however. So when we run this here manually, LD Linux, the dynamic linker, with some library pass here to our this desktop, obviously is some funny name thing for desktop. Like dex desktop desktop. So here T2 lib and this works. This is just some local stuff. We have not arsing some local or so whatever, it doesn't matter so much. But this works and uh, however when we run something this will not run our binaries that we would need to run with ls, which also works. And also I wanted to test DietLibc as I have never obviously tested DietLibc for ARCH64, otherwise known as ARM64. I really hate this name, stupid name. In T2 we have this amp utils, this embedded utils, oh, user amp. And here are statically linked embedded utils that usually statically linked by default with DietLibc for us, usually for embedded use, but also for backup use. So we have here ls, some amp utils, libc link, let's see, this is some file ls. So that should be statically linked here. Yeah. And this should also be libc. And can we check this somehow if it's libc? Uh, probably when it's small, and they are quite small, and they're probably libc. And also my embedded SED, I also found here maybe some small bug in my embedded SED, which is by the way the original GNU SED from Eric S. Raymond that I took over as he didn't maintain it anymore. I needed some small SED from Better Juice some decade ago. 
and I found this and since then I maintain it and I just realized if I run here ssd h for help then it says no such command which should be okay but then unknown flag h that is not terminated I will probably take a look in a second and improve this output just for the fun of it. So the good news is our binaries work our t2 trunk arch64 arm64 binaries are also tested they compile they are tested this is also the nice thing of this videos I test things and improve things while at it and yeah so t2 trunk head works if you want this for your embedded stuff or arm64 raspberry pi or desktop server board you can use t2 obviously and we can also run this in this samsung linux for dex desktop stuff here just change what doesn't work and then i would be curious how we start this there was some process there i think some init container init d init container is doing what sanity check so it's mounting so maybe this is so here's some c grouping and just some mkd mount if not mounted so they basically mount here some stuff and run some services it just looks pretty lightweight so then i would be really curious to set up something similar 42 and run here sudo desktop oh this is terminal mode so they apparently have some argument for gui shell uh, target so this is how they start this one pretty straightforward shell thing and this would of course be really nice to set this up for t2 so for some only 100 megabyte small container thing instead says what did we download three gigabyte verse of ubuntu so i hope you found this interesting and learned something don't forget to share like and subscribe and i hope to see you soon for the next tinkering to come it is funny i was thinking they will probably never show me pci devices or something but in fact lspci indeed at least lists here this PCI bridge and the network controller that is interesting would not have expected this but in general unfortunately it's not the most snappy and I wonder also with this change route and such if they would have used a real virtualization like KVM maybe the experience would be better at least integration wise with the full system with change route and you can do everything you want not this container namespace stuff and I wonder if even the performance would be better with QXL or some other higher performance accelerated protocol thing obviously ideal would also be a vendor neutral solution that works with all the android phones and not only this especially as i would want a smaller galaxy anyway it is slightly curious though that this stupid touch mouse in this normal deck thing does not have here any stray selection stuff so this flickering touch problem appears to be unfortunately just limited to this linux on samsung dex application as the normal deck stuff doesn't have this no touch at all not wonder if it could zoom though um, if we don't here really have some actually this indeed is doing a little bit so no this is touch indeed and doing something very useful but at least it's differentiating touch from mouse movements so this touch flickering thing appears to be some implementation detail issue just of this linux on dex beta thing and again you can run this in terminal mode and then you get actually i wonder it did not allow us sudo in this mode i think here yeah, no tty present so this indeed just runs here this in container thing with term the resolution time zone and that's it and i wonder so they must have this terminal stuff dev row what means dev row by the way mount so dev row is temp so that is tempfs secure label dev read only or what should have wonder what's the difference between dev and dev ro is actually for some things it may be slightly nicer to use this terminal mode if you're only into administrative secure shell stuff yeah so this may actually be often favorable the question is how well this terminal emulator here works this samsung linux app 
but okay at least this stuff works maybe they use some open source VTE or something I wonder what do they claim here screen so okay the screen X term yeah it's the standard thing for many terminals even macOS or something but that really was the last insight look for today's video